Right, let's take a look at some end behaviour of a rational function and what happens to the graph as it approaches a vertical asymptote. So I have a horizontal asymptote here. Okay, along here. This is y equals 1 or f of x equals 1. Okay, I've also got a vertical asymptote coming down here. Now can you see? This is x equals 2. It's all taken from the function over here. Take a look at this. Can you see x cannot be 2? Okay, that's the vertical asymptote. x equals 2. Okay, so um, as the graph approaches infinity, as x goes towards infinity, as x heads towards infinity, can you see the graph is approaching, approaching y equals 1, or f of x equals 1. So that is what I write, okay? So that's saying, as x goes to infinity, the graph is approaching the line y equals 1, or f of x equals 1. Now how about as the graph approaches negative infinity, going this way? Well, can you see it is still approaching the line y equals 1, or f of x equals 1? So as x heads towards negative infinity, f of x is approaching 1 on this side as well, okay? Now, how about as the graph approaches this vertical asymptote, okay? So again, as the graph is getting nearer and nearer to x equals 2, but on the positive side, look at that, on the positive side, on the right-hand side of the vertical asymptote. So as x heads towards 2 on the positive side, can you see the graph is going up to infinity? So f of x is approaching infinity. Now, as the graph is going down here, okay, can you see this is approaching the vertical asymptote, but on the negative side, so on the negative side of x equals 2, okay? So as x approaches 2 on the negative side, can you see the graph is going down to negative infinity? And that is that, okay?